Hey, happy, 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 beautiful, amazing day. Dr. Bob Rakowski here out of Houston, Texas. Uh, the last five days, Bob Proctor had a phenomenal course. It was entitled Five Days to Make a Million Look Small. Well, a million what? You know, that's up to you. Could you, you know, create goals that are mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, social, financial, impactful? Could you make all those look small and, and be you know, really powerful in them? And the answer is you can, and maybe you should, because that'll allow you to build your best life. So pick whatever million you want to make look small and, and go to it. Uh, and Bob is certainly an expert of that. So he's a phenomenal rags to riches story. You know, he was broke. He had no formal education, dropped out of high school, I think after four weeks in the ninth grade. And maybe he didn't drop out, maybe he got kicked out. They said, this isn't the place for you. You know, and he fumbled around until he got a mentor. And then ultimately the mentor gifted him Think and Grow Rich and said, Bob, study this, study it every day. Well, Bob did. And he went from 4,000 a year in 1960 or 1961 to the following year, 176,000. Uh, and within five years, a million. And I got to tell you, a million in the 1960s uh, was worth quite a few dollars today. So... Bob had great things to share, and I'm going to summarize it for you. So, you know, he was interviewed on Larry King, uh, The Secret, Is It For Real? You know, Larry King, absolutely phenomenal interviewer. Uh, and Bob did such a good interview that certainly that helped to launch his coaching career. And some say that he absolutely has the best explanation of the law of attraction. So it's not the hypothesis or theory of, of attraction. <clears throat> it is actually the law of attraction. Now, this individual here, David J.P. Phillips, TEDx Stockholm, his TED Talk was entitled The Magical Science of Storytelling. You know, and he asked the question, is storytelling really the most powerful tool of all? And he's going to tell you that it is. So they were on eBay uh, and they bought a, a couple hundred items all for less than a dollar. And then he reached out to authors. He said, write a nice story about this, a short story, an easy story. Uh, and when he sold that item, basically they sold it for $62.95. So story added a lot of value there. And it wasn't just that item. They spent $129. They sold the cumulative items for $8,000. So think about that. How powerful is your story? Well, really everything that sells at a premium sells with a story. Have this and you'll be like this person. Have that and you'll get these superpowers. You know, have this and who knows, you'll be more attractive to, you know, the gender you're trying to be attractive to, right? So, you know, how does it work? Well, stories are really, really, really powerful. The most famous talks of all, the most seen and heard talks, the TED Talks, billions of views, uh, talk like TED. And the first commandment is thou shall tell stories. So my story, I've got an absolutely fantastic family. I've got a great A-list practice. You know, not only have I treated world champion athletes from every major professional sport, tons of Olympians, celebrities, CEOs, but I've also seen the other end of the spectrum. So this foot was given a death sentence. It was going to be amputated two days later, but look at the difference in two weeks. Bodies respond to frequency, duration, intensity, quality, and timing of stimuli. By the way, so does your mind, so does your spirit, so does any aspect of your life. And then 17 months later, no surgery, right? The dead tissue fell off. Uh, the tissue that was revitalizable was revitalized. And I've also made a very good living teaching doctors all over the world. I have a passion for teaching, for simplifying. You know, physiology is infinitely complex, but good health isn't, and everybody can develop it. But my life was cooking along really, really well. Uh, and then suddenly I was thrown a curveball, And, you know, I, I say that a shark in the water would have been much less scary because that would have been quick and gone. And you know, it probably would have taken off because we're not on their menu. But my scare, I had a shoulder injury, got an x-ray report. Uh, and the radiologist said, you know, I'm going to recommend a bone scan. I don't like something I'm seeing. Well, you see that on a patient's report, you get concerned. So on your own report, you get really concerned because they think they're looking for cancer. Well, thank God it wasn't cancer. It was a surgical artifact, uh, you know, a calcium type screw in my shoulder to reattach my rotator cuff. But what if you had a week to sit there and think, you know, what if my time is limited? How am I going to make good use of it? 
my most important you know, world is my family. Taking care of my family was profoundly important to me. So I had to ask that question. How am I gonna take care of them uh, if I won't be around? So I, I figured that out. But at any rate, this is the book that um, uh, Bob Proctor read. And I don't know how many printings it's had, but interestingly enough, this book, Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich Foundation, uh, partnered with a company called Organo. They had never done that before. And why? Because Organo helps people to become rich. But here's a summary of the book. Rich people think differently. And by the way, they program their subconscious uh, differently. And they realize that the subconscious is a driver, a major driver of success. Uh, and if you master the rich subconscious mindset, it will inevitably lead to riches. It is a law. So remember Einstein, he said, we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. Bob Proctor would tell you, we can't solve these problems with the same paradigm that created them. So Bob's also a fan of laws. The law of compensation states this, your income is determined by how many people you serve and how, how well you serve them. Well, in clinical practice, I could serve one person at a time. When I was lecturing, I was lecturing for a company. I was serving one company uh, at a time. But here's the question, would you rather help one person at a time or what if you could help 10,000 at a time? So if you're helping more people, guess what? You're gonna get paid more money. And that really is the key. So people fuss about Hollywood people making money. Uh, well, okay, they're entertaining a lot of people at one time. That's, uh, you know, entertainment's good. Laughter's great medicine. So they are well compensated. So how about this quote? I like this a lot. For him who has conquered, him or her who has conquered the mind, the mind is the best of friends. But for the one who has failed to do so, his or her mind will remain the greatest enemy. Uh, and that's from the Bhagavad Gita. And so, you know, a very powerful spiritual text. So Bob Proctor, you know, he actually decided, you know what, I, I'm partnering with Sandy Gallagher. She knows money. She, you know, mer ran bank mergers, billions and billions of dollars. Uh, and Sandy Gallagher created the por uh, program Thinking Into Results. Now I've attended this program. Uh, it was well worth the money that I spent and I attended it under the tutelage of a Bob Proctor certified Thinking Into Results consultant. Uh, I'm pretty sure Bob said that the course, if you wanna become a consultant, $30,000. He also shared a story of a guy who did that last year and made $1.2 million. Yeah, you heard that right, his first year, 1.2 million. So if that's up your alley, you know, God bless you. Go into it. Make the world better by that mechanism. But I'm going to play a video from Bob. Fascinating. So if Bob had to do it all over again, what would he do? If I were starting over today, I would probably go into network marketing because it is probably the easiest way to set up multiple sources of income. Now, the fact is that most people that go into it never earn any money is another thing. They're just not working with the right people study the real heavy hitters. They all have multiple sources of income and they have money coming at them from all over the world. It's a beautiful thing to understand. Doesn't matter where you live, you can be setting up sources of income all over the globe. You can just keep setting them up. You so, like the idea, don't you? Well, I'm going to tell you something. You are capable of doing this. Bob has from that with many, many, many people. And go back to that. So he said it again. Why is that not going backwards? If he were starting over again today, he would probably go into network marketing. Find the right company, the right products, the right mix, the right leadership, the right market. Uh, and that can be profoundly successful. So it's been said your network is your net worth. Many people have proven that. And so here's a magic question. Are you open to this concept working for you? Uh, and if you are, I'm going to encourage you to pursue it, maybe even have a conversation with me. So when Bob was talking about multiple sources of income, he says, you know, he used to pull out his calculator and say, okay, if I have 50 businesses, 50 sources of income that each earn 20,000, well, that's one way to a million or 25 at 40,000, 16 at 60,000. 12 and a half at 80,000, why not round it up to 13 and then a little over the top or 10 at 100,000. But what's pretty fascinating is network marketing is kind of like this too. My, my target is 10 people earning 100,000. 
uh, and they probably want you know 10 people earning 10,000 or maybe 20 people earning 5,000 uh, and that's how they get there and you know that's how most compensation plans if you build it right will work uh, and a phenomenal way of doing it. Einstein said compounding is the eighth wonder of the world and the penny doubling uh, example really proves it. So you start out day one with a penny and look that you just double the numbers all the way down. Day 30, 5.3 million. How about day 31, 10.7 million dollars. Uh, and Jerry Seinfeld did this, you know, he said, okay, compounding works. If I can get a little better every day, I'm gonna write a joke every day, every day, every day, every day. Uh, for him, that was a billion dollar strategy. And let's be ridiculous. What if it took you a year to double a penny? And then again, and again, and again, hey, year 31, 10.7 million. Someone may be on that slow path, but you know what? You keep doubling every year, you ultimately are going to get there. So here's a fascinating question. What if you just doubled a penny every other day? Well, instead of that, you know, 10.7 million, you get $163.84. That 16th doubling hasn't even happened yet. So think about that. Every other day, wow, what a bummer that would be. So consistency really, really matters. So how does network marketing work? Well, you get 10 people and they can get 10 people and they can get 10 people and they can get 10 people. Uh, and there's no limit. You, you're not limited to 10. They're not limited to 10. You're not limited to you know, five generations. And suddenly you're helping 10,000 people simultaneously help your 10 earn 100,000. That is a path to a million. And let's look at the time multiplying factor. Uh, I've done this part-time with five other businesses. I spend 30 good minutes a day. Now, Kelly also does too. So essentially we're getting a good hour a day, but let's just take my efforts. 30 minutes a day. Uh, and then when you get your 10, notice you go from 30 minutes to 330 minutes, then to 3,300 minutes, 33,000 minutes, 333,000 minutes. A 40 hour work week at uh, 50 weeks a year, we'll give you two weeks vacation you're putting in almost three years of effort, team effort, time-wise, every single day at 30 minutes. Now, can everybody find 30 minutes? Yeah, they can. You know, Jim Rohn taught me that long ago. He said, look, find a way to spend 30 minutes on what's most important to you. And I did, and it's been absolutely magical. So this is a New York Times bestselling book. It's called Switch, uh, and how to change things when change is hard. And they use the metaphor of a rider on an elephant. They said the rider is the thinking mind. The elephant is the emotional uh, subconscious mind. And then of course you have a path which can make it a little easier for the elephant. But here's a fact. If the elephant makes up his mind, there's not much the rider can do and not much the path can do. The elephant's going to run wild on you. So one of the keys is you want to get uh, better control of this subconscious mind. Bob Proctor would call it the paradigm. He's got a multi-day course called the Paradigm Shift. Phenomenal course. I've attended it a few times. Absolutely fantastic. And by the way, the path is the five people you spend the most time with. You tend to be the average of those five, five people and the environment you create. And then the magic key is coaches. Get coaching from someone who's really, really good. This is Viktor Frankl. He was a Nazi Holocaust survivor. He said, between stimulus and response, there's a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. Uh, and that was phenomenal teaching and amazing that he was able to do that in the concentration camp. And then there's stimulus response. And Stephen Covey talks about the gap between stimulus and, and response. And here's the new paradigm. You can lengthen the gap. With good training, you can learn to not react. If the gap is short, it's a reflex, it's a reaction. Those tend to get you in trouble. Whereas responses, you can think them out. You can choose your response. Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, the most uh, simply effective book, business book of the entire last century. He says, if you want small improvements, change your behavior. And that's why the font is really small. If you want massive improvements, change your paradigm. Uh, and he's right, change the paradigm. I've had a few paradigm shifts, 
absolutely game-changing, life-changing, life-enhancing. Back to the book switch, successful changes in behavior, three things in common, person gains crystal clear direction. Clarity is really, really, really important. They have an emotional commitment, also super important. And they shape their path by making their surrounding environment more supportive to their change. So if you wanted to quit smoking, no cigarettes anywhere near you. Uh, if you wanted to quit eating junk, you know, you have to go to the store on foot or bike and you can only buy one little sweet at a time and you can only have it when you get home. Those are ways to do that. I love Andy Andrews as well. The gap that exists between how and why is as vast as the chasm between earth and sky. Uh, and the next demonstration of that gap is beyond beautiful, beyond amazing, beyond powerful. And check this out. Like uh, Amazing Grace. Can you do the first part of that? Go ahead. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Wow. That where I could sing. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right. Um, now, once you give me the version, is if uh, your uncle just got out of jail, you got shot in the back when you was a kid. I'm just saying, let me see the hood version real quick. If you know which version I'm talking about, just see if that exists. Let me see what you got. Amazing grace, how sweet. I want you to catch. The first time I asked him to sing, he knew what he was doing. The second time, he knew why he was doing it. When you know your why, your what becomes more impactful because you're walking towards or in your purpose. So I will repeat that again. The gap that exists between how and why is as vast as the chasm between earth and sky uh, and as vast as the gap between version one and version two. I got to tell you, version one was pretty doggone good. When I heard it at first, I went, okay, this, this guy, he's got a heck of a voice. But when he found his why, he found his way. Uh, and that's, that's my encouragement to you. Find your why and find your way. And by the way, coaches can help you do that. So, so Bob Proctor, huge fan of affirmations. Napoleon Hill was given an affirmation by Andrew Carnegie that he would outdo Andrew Carnegie. And, and he said, there's just no way that's going to happen. He says, no, it won't until you plant it into your subconscious. And it's estimated that Andrew Carnegie created, you know, uh, 50 millionaires. Napoleon Hill, a thousand millionaires and still growing or a million millionaires and still growing. So pretty powerful there. So Bob Proctor's affirmation here. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm earning a million dollars a year. That truth is clearly imagined in my conscious mind. It is effectively planted through constant spaced repetition into my subconscious emotional mind. Therefore, it is presently moving into physical form. When you get it into your subconscious emotional mind where the law of attraction really takes place, it will move into physical form. Give it a shot for the rest of your life until you get there. 
And then Bruce Lipton has strategies for reprogramming your subconscious. And he says, you know what, the day your life uh, turns around could be the day you're ultimately disgusted. Jim Rohn Audio is still available. You know, he passed a number of years ago, met him in person, shook his hand, got an autographed journal. My top mentor in my life helped me make my dreams come true. And, you know, now dreaming bigger because once you get there, okay, still got a lot to go. Let's go. Let's, let's dream bigger. But Girl Scouts knocked on his door selling cookies. He uh, didn't want to tell me I didn't have $2. So he lied to him. He says, sorry, sweethearts. Um, you know, I already bought cookies from my niece. Not even sure that he had a niece. But when he walked away from the door, he said, how low can I sink? I just lied to Girl Scouts. Something needs to change. And he knew something needed to change. He found a mentor. He found network marketing in the 1960s. He became a millionaire in network marketing, which by the way, you look at all the greats that recommend it, go watch Rise of the Entrepreneur. You're going to find out that business tycoons like Sir Richard Branson, motivational speakers, Tony Robbins, Bob Proctor, world leading economists, they all recommend network marketing. Low entry, uh, basically you get on, in um, you know, training as a built in and you can grow as big as you want. Number two, full presence, just be madly in love with someone or something. Uh, and think about that. Hopefully you've had the joy of being madly in love and hopefully you are at this moment with someone or something or hopefully both. And think about how that absorbs you. Uh, how wonderful. Michael Phelps, you could also just do it with consistent hard work. Uh, he would train super hard 365 days a year, sleep super hard, nine hours a night, two hours during the day, work hard, work your brain hard, you got to recover hard, never miss. And those are the strategies to create your dream life. I love this quote from Carl Jung. He says, until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. Uh, and this reference said, 95% eh, of what goes on is really driven by our subconscious, uh, unconscious. Bob Proctor, another affirmation, here it is. He says, <clears throat> and I like this one, my mind is a center of divine operation. The divine operation is always for expansion and fuller expression. And this means the production of something beyond what has gone before. Something entirely new, something not included in past experience so, through, sorry, though proceeding out of it by an orderly sequence of growth. Therefore, since the divine cannot change its inherent nature, it must operate in the same manner in me. Consequently, in my special world of which I am the center, it will move forward to produce new conditions always in advance of any that have gone before. So think about it. Whatever you've been really, really, really excited about, really dedicated to, um, you know, Bob uses the, the analogy or uh, and John Martini uses it, Tony Robbins uses it of a child with a video game. You know, they can play it for hours. And then when they hit a certain level, they want the next level, the next level, the next level, the next challenge. That's how it's supposed to work. We're always supposed to expand, grow a little beyond our comfort zone, grow more, grow more, grow more. And that is divine nature, God's nature, expansion. So expand in a beautiful way. So how can you expand? Can you have time freedom, money freedom, location freedom, health freedom, beautiful confidence, loving relationships? You can do all that. And by the way, you know, mine happens to be through a coffee business. And here's something I heard that just automatically pushed my buttons. No dream is too big for coffee. Over 2 billion cups a day served all over the world. Wayne Dyer, love his work, read many of his books, uh, his book, uh, you'll see it when you believe it, maybe the best title ever, but he's really talking about that secret, that programming the subconscious to really believing and owning the concept. And here's what Bob says, see yourself living in abundance and you will attract it. It works every time with every person. Now I like to put things in bite-sized pieces and we'll show you why, but very, very simply, I want you to see yourself having a successful 30 minutes every day. Can you have 30 minutes dedicated to your why, to your one thing, whatever it is? Can you do that? If you want to learn to play the guitar, do it, the guitar 30 minutes every day. You want to learn to sing, you want to learn to dance, you want to learn martial arts, you want to study a particular topic, whatever it is, 30 minutes a day compounds beautifully. 
uh, and this book, Change Your Day, Not Your Life. And really, that's what it says. You know, you want to make a big change. Well, it's not going to happen overnight, but change your day, change your day, change your day, every day a little better, a little better, a little better, a little better, and you will move forward. So this book, The Procrastination Equation, How to Stop Putting Things Off and Start Getting Stuff Done, this book won a lot of prizes. Pure Steel, something like the literature equivalent of the Nobel Prize. Uh, and he says, this is how to hack motivation and get ourselves motivated for anything we want. He created the procrastination equation, but motivation uh, is there too, right? So motivation is when you have a high score, you expect a lot, it's of high value to you, you're not gonna be distracted and it can happen pretty quick. Now you have super high motivation. Procrastination, eh, you're probably not very confident. It may not have a super high value to you. If, you, if you're not confident, if it's a zero, zero is zero. Uh, if you're really impulsive, infinity, right? That goes to zero too, or if it's way off in time, highly unlikely, unlikely as well. So let's say you wanted to climb your Mount Everest, um, or that might be the Matterhorn, but I think it's Everest. But at any rate, um, you know, what's your probability of climbing that? Yeah, maybe not so high unless you're really willing to put in the time, money, effort, hire a team, buy the equipment, et cetera. But what if you like ice cream? You saw an ice cream in front of you. It's within your reach. So you absolutely know it's going to be delicious. You value deliciousness. There's nothing between you and the ice cream cone and you can have it now. That's a win. You're going to get that done. So high confidence, expected reward, low distractibility, uh, short time to achieve. And that's where I want the 30 minutes a day. And Robin Sharma agrees, dream big, start small, act now. Absolutely brilliant idea. And it helps that you have a reward for your 30 minutes. You're confident you can put the 30 minutes in. Uh, by the way, Jerry Seinfeld's reward was an X on a calendar that later turned into a billion dollars. Uh, time to achieve. 30 minutes, we can make 30 minutes, lock that time down with absolutely no distractions. Uh, and that's what this book, Deep Work, is about. Rules for focused success in a distracted world. Put yourself in your room. I'm in my home office right now. There's no distractions here. Uh, if I'm somewhere else, there's distractions. This is where I get deep work done. Tom Morris his seven C's of success. I'll talk about him in a moment. First C, you got to have clarity. Number two, you have to have confidence. His deep work, he has three things uh, blocked together. Consistent, committed concentration. You have to have character. Without character, everything falls apart. And contentment, why not enjoy the journey? But consistent, committed concentration works for that deep work time block. And then Bob Proctor is a very spiritual guy. And, and by the way, he calls spirit God, if you're okay with that. Um, and he says, you know what? True success is partnership with infinite. True success is partnership with God. So Tom Chi is an astrophysicist. He's got a phenomenal TED talk, Everything's Connected. He says, look, there's one source for everything. How fascinating is that? And he goes back to the Big Bang. But what created the Big Bang? Well, guess what? Science isn't going to be able to answer that. Now, Bob Proctor says, I study theology and I study science. He says, I believe Theology studies the cause, God. Science studies the effect. Everything is from God. So Tom Chi talks about the heart through hemoglobin, the breath through oxygen, and the mind through what he calls the palate of being. But he talks about the Big Bang, and he says, you know what? You need a, a super galactic collision, a supernova to create enough energy to start moving these electrons and protons and neutrons together to ultimately create these atoms. No supernova, no iron. Iron, of course, is the center of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin carries oxygen. But you go back 3.5 billion years ago, there was almost no oxygen in the Earth's atmosphere. But there was a little bacteria called cyanobacteria uh, and this cyanobacteria would actually breathe carbon dioxide and exhale, breathe in carbon dioxide, exhale oxygen, uh, very much like plants do today. Uh, and guess what? That was the beginning of oxygen on the planet. And Tom Chi says, imagine you're one of these bacteria and you're just microscopic and you have a very short lifespan. And you say, well, how can I make a difference? 
Well, think about that. Look at the difference that all of them made. Without them, we don't have Earth. And then he talks about the palette of being. He says, and every year we add different colors to it. You know, how long have astrophysicists existed? Not that long. How about quantum physicists? How about people making a living teaching the law of attraction? How about lifestyle coaches? By the way, pick a coach who has results that you want and maybe in a system where you don't have to pay for it. I happen to be in a system like that. You could potentially be coached by me. Uh, I, I like that kind of thing. In fact, I love that kind of thing. Uh, Tom Morris, I affectionately call him PhD, PhD in philosophy, PhD uh, in religion, double that is, double PhD from Yale on scholarship. He's a bright character, taught philosophy at Notre Dame for 15 years. And he talks about life's areas, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, social, financial, impactful. He says unity uh, or oneness is the essence of spirituality. So if you saw that person down the street and knew them as a brother or sister, well, wouldn't you think of them maybe a little differently? And, and all the creatures and all the plants, we're all here together. Wouldn't we maybe think of them different? If we all know we have the same source, wouldn't that be interesting? Uh, and so <clears throat> that's his philosophy. That's a lot of successful people's philosophy. Now, Bob asks a question. What are you attracting into your life right now? Look around you. You will see the results. How are your results mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, socially, financially, impactfully? Pick your one thing and go for it. With coaches, change your mind and you literally change your mind, change your subconscious, change and activate the law of attraction. So Einstein, one of the greatest minds of all time, here's what he said, everything is energy and that's all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want and you cannot help but get that reality. It can be no other way. This is not philosophy. This is physics. This is hard science. Uh, absolutely proven by one of the greatest scientists of all time. So Socrates was considered the wisest man in, in ancient Greece, maybe in the ancient world. By the way, he was also humble. He said, I know nothing. Think about that. Smartest guy around. And he realized compared to what there is to know, what did he know? Nothing, nothing. Smart guy. But anyways, a young man went up to him and he said, you know, Socrates, I want to learn about success. And Socrates said, well, cool. Meet me down by the water uh, tomorrow morning at X time. And, and so, you know, the guy comes to the beach and Socrates says, come out in the water with me. Now, Socrates was a big, strong guy and a powerful wrestler. And he says, okay, I'm going to teach you about success. And he grabs the guy and he dunks him under the water. And he's holding him down and he's holding him down and he's holding him down. And the guy's fighting, and the guy's fighting, and the guy's fighting, and the guy's fighting, and Socrates is strong enough to keep him down. Well, then finally, Socrates lets him go, and the guy comes up and just <gasps> gasps for air. And he just, what the heck is wrong with you? What are you doing? He says, you wanted to learn about success, didn't you? The guy says, yeah, I didn't want you to kill me. And Socrates said, when you want success as badly as you want the air, then you will get it. There is no other secret <clears throat> of success. So think about that. How absolutely powerful is that? Great coaches, I invest in great coaches. I'm in a system where I automatically have great coaches and I still spend extra money on coaches, uh, including Bob Proctor. But three greatest coaches, according to Sports Illustrated, that would be uh, John Wooden, that would be Vince Lombardi, uh, and that would be Red Auerbach. And these people uh, were phenomenal at helping people be their best. Uh, and that's what coaches do. And some people said a coach basically incentivizes you to do things you don't necessarily want to do so that you can become the person you absolutely want to be. You know, I taught a weight loss series around the world and here were the most successful strategies for weight loss, measurability and accountability, measurability and accountability. Wooden was the same thing, you know, uh, okay, you're going to shoot free throws and here's our goal, 90%, 90%, 90%, 90%. Guess what? If you were, you know, 90 plus percent, well, maybe you only had to shoot a hundred that day. Uh, if you weren't 90%, Maybe you're going to shoot a thousand. Maybe you're going to spend a lot of time with that shooting coach because uh, you need a little more work. So measure the progress, measure the progress, measure the progress, get great, great coaching. By the way, John Wooden, Vince Lombardi, Red Arbuck, they all kept, kept it simple. John Wooden had only seven plays, seven plays. That's it. The Magnificent Seven. 
There's seven skills. There's seven life areas. There's seven lifestyle things you need to do. Eat right, drink right, think right, move right, sleep right, poop right, talk right. Or mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, social, financial, impactful. Sevens have their way. Now, Bob Proctor says this, you need to have discipline and you need to make a truly committed decision. Truly committed decision is you're going to do it until. End of story. Discipline is the ability to give yourself a command and follow it. So in 1973, Bob Proctor said, I'm going to build a company that operates all over the world. 2021, 58 years later, think about that, 58 years later, they are now, Bob Proctor, uh, Proctor Gallagher is in every country of the world. Think and grow rich, measurability, accountability, discipline, decision, those are definitely there. And so here's Bob, Bob's program in a nutshell. You need to have a burning desire. You need to control that elephant of a paradigm and basically consciously program that paradigm shift. Uh, and then you can also create your fabulous environment and get there. Bruce Lipton says you could either be really disgusted, uh, you could either be really in love, or you could work really hard. Maybe all three, maybe there's something that you find distasteful, disgusting, that you want to make better, okay, work towards making it better. Love that process, love somebody, love your one thing and work hard and you're probably gonna get there a lot, lot faster. Bob has a program called a Paradigm Shift. They also have their Thinking Into Results Certified Consultants. You can become one. Uh, if that's up your alley, uh, I would highly recommend it. The people I know that have done it are absolutely loving it. By the way, I love the course. I already found many paths to millions uh, and so I'm excited about those. I don't, I, I, I'm not ready for that path to a million. Mine is kind of like that too. I help people create better lives. Have the discipline, give yourself a command and follow it, make a decision, make it committed, have things that are measurable, have things that are accountable. Zig Ziglar had a quantum leap when he learned to tell people what they needed to hear in a way that they wanted to hear it. How did he do it? He was a master storyteller. Everybody loves a story. Uh, in clinical practice, my quantum leap was I learned to empower people to nourish their bodies the way they needed it to with the nutrients they needed in a way they wanted to ingest it. Delicious, healthy shakes, delicious, healthy coffee and tea. Uh, and we can make these things off the charts amazing. So, Here's a fact, I know not the day, I know not the hour, but I do know that my family's future is secure. Two skills to master if you wanna be a great networker, make friends and share resources. You don't even need to know, you could connect them to someone like me to share the resources or someone far more experienced, whatever you decide to do. And imagine this question, would you like to take your better body, brain and beautiful skin to paradises and enjoy deliciousness? That could be really fun. Your network is your net worth. Are you open to this concept working for you? That was the best paradigm shift of my entire life. Creates time freedom, money freedom, location freedom, health freedom, beautiful competence, loving relationships. Remember, no dream is too big for coffee. You can create total freedom. And with that said, I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski, absolutely knowing that we can all be happy, healthy, and successful. So good night all, and God bless.